Hello and welcome to the AMA Update video and podcast. Today we're talking about important new recommendations from the U.S. Preventive Services Task Force on screening for depression, anxiety, and more. Joining me to discuss is the chair of the task force, Dr. Michael Berry in Boston. I'm Todd Unger, AMA's Chief Experience Officer in Chicago. Dr. Berry, welcome to the update. Good to be with you and your audience, Todd. Well, before we discuss specific topics, uh, why don't we just start by getting an overview of the types of preventative services that the task force issues recommendations for? Sure. Well, the task force makes evidence-based recommendations for uh, preventive care to improve the health of people nationwide. Uh, those recommendations cover disease screening, uh, behavioral counseling, and preventive medicines. We're 16 volunteer experts in primary care Prevention. We've been making these recommendations since 1984, so it's our 40th anniversary. Happy anniversary, 40. That's amazing. Um, tell us a little bit about the factors the task force considers when making uh, or updating a recommendation. Sure. We, um, uh, we consider the uh, burden of disease in the population. We deal with interventions that could be delivered in primary care because that's really our focus. And uh, these are focused on people who don't have signs and symptoms of the disease, at least that are recognized. So we're really talking about screening asymptomatic people or people who don't realize they have a, a problem. All right, well, let's get into more specifics because there are, are a number of new recommendations. Um, but for the purposes of this discussion, we're gonna focus on four of the most notable ones. And let's start with the topic of screening for depression and suicide risk in adults. What do physicians need to know? So depression and suicide are unfortunately all too common problems in the United States. But the good news is there are simple, uh, practical questionnaires that can screen for depression uh, in primary care and uh, get people identified and into treatment if need be. So the task force recommends all adults including pregnant and postpartum people, be screened for depression. We didn't find enough evidence, though, to recommend for or against specifically and separate, separately screening for suicide risk, but we've called for more research on that important question. All right, well, uh, there's another new topic this year in terms of adult screening, and that's for anxiety. Tell us more about the recommendations on that. Well, this is a new recommendation, and it reflects increasing appreciation that anxiety is a common uh, health problem uh, that can create considerable morbidity. Uh, now, I'm not talking about the occasional anxiety that we all have from time to time, but it's anxiety that becomes overwhelming, that interferes with people's functioning and quality of life. Uh, so the task force now recommends uh, screening adults under 65 for anxiety disorders, again, with simple practical uh, questionnaires. Um, we didn't have enough evidence to recommend for or grant against screening for um, anxiety in people 65 and older. It's not that they can't have anxiety, it's that there just wasn't enough evidence to uh, recommend for or against screening uh, that older group. Are those sque uh, screening questions kind of worked into the EHR? Or how, how, does, how does that actually transpire in an office visit? Different practices can do them uh, differently. Sometimes uh, a medical assistant uh, can administer them. The clinician can themselves. Uh, so they're really adaptable to different situations. All right, we talked about uh, depression, anxiety screenings. Uh, let's look at a, a different uh, uh, kind of recommendation. And this one is about taking PrEP to prevent HIV. Tell us more about that. Well, HIV infection continues to be a significant public health issue. There are about 1.2 billion people in the United States living with HIV, and more people develop HIV infection each year. The good news is, is that pre-exposure prophylaxis, or PrEP, is a very effective way to prevent uh, HIV infection. Uh, HIV PrEP can be taken regularly as a pill or an injection and should be combined with other safe sex practices such as regular use of condoms. So task force recommends adults and adolescents at increased risk of HIV infection uh, should take PrEP to prevent acquiring uh, HIV and risk factors for 
infection, as you could imagine, would be sex with a partner that has known HIV, a recent sexually transmitted infection, not using condoms consistently, which we would certainly recommend uh, that, that people do uh, because that's uh, important to combine with HIV prep. Absolutely. All right, well, let's move on to our fourth recommendation. Uh, this one is for screening pregnant people for hypertension. What do physicians need to know about this recommendation from the task force? Well, as, as I'm sure you know, maternal and fetal morbidity and mortality remains a large problem in the United States. And this burden is uh, disproportionately shouldered by Black, Native American, and Alaskan Native people uh, in our country. The task force recommends all pregnant people should have their blood pressure measured at each prenatal visit uh, as we can identify hypertensive disorders of pregnancy and prevent complications due to sustained gestational hypertension, and even more worrisome preeclampsia and eclampsia, where that blood pressure elevation can begin to cause organ damage. And uh, those uh, outcomes can be precluded with early identification and, and appropriate treatment. Well, this discussion just of these four that we covered here in the update was incredibly informative. Uh, where can physicians go to read all the latest recommendations from the U.S. Preventive Services Task Force? Well, there's a lot of ways to stay up to date with us. Uh, it all starts with uh, putting U.S. Preventive Services Task Force in your favorite browser. You'll get to our website. Uh, all our uh, recommendations are there, uh, and you can uh, sign up for our Prevention Task Force app so you can have all our recommendations at your fingertips. Our recommendations are published in, of course, the Journal of the American Medical Association. Uh, so that's another good source. You can also on the website sign up for regular email updates, or you can follow us on LinkedIn if you prefer. So lots of ways to stay in touch. And just to make it easy, we'll put a link to that site in the description of this episode. Dr. Barry, thanks so much for joining us today and keeping physicians up to date. As a partner of the U.S. Preventive Services Task Force, the AMA helps to promote these recommendations and educate physicians to put them into practice. If you want to support AMA's efforts to educate physicians, you can support us by joining the AMA at ama-assm.org slash join. That wraps up today's episode, and we'll be back soon with another AMA update. You can subscribe for all new episodes and find all our videos and podcasts at ama-assn.org slash podcasts. Thanks for joining us today. Please take care.